What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Morphe Bling It On brush set. I did receive this set for a Christmas present from my twin sister, so thank you Natalie so much. She knew that I would love the bling bling. Don't mind the rip box right here guys, don't mind that. The brushes do come in this cute little rose gold travel set. Here are all the brushes right here. Yes, they have been used because I just used them all. However, I don't think I will typically use these brushes to go travel. It is a cute little bag that comes with it. I used every single brush in this kit to help create this look that I have on today. However, it's not a set that you can do a full face with, so I definitely had to use a couple other brushes, use my beauty blender for my foundation and things like that. We do go through the brushes. I explain what each brush is used for, how to use it. Of course, you get to see me apply them on my face and see how they work out for me. Uh, what kind of issues I run into. So if you want to see these brushes in action, make sure you keep on watching. I am going to go down the line of all the brushes and explain to you guys what each one is for and how we are going to use them today. First up we have the big fluffy one and this is the Deluxe Tapered Powder Brush. It's for controlled application and diffuse color so I think I'm probably going to do maybe some bronzer with that one. Next up we have the contour blender brush. It's domed with a firm head for controlled application. So contour, maybe I'll try my contour. I was honestly thinking maybe my highlight, but we'll see what I end up using it for. The deluxe angled brush and it gently angled for contouring and defining with creams or powders. So this I think is going to be for my contour. I think I'm going to use the other one for my highlight today. Next we're going into brushes for the eyes. This is the Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. Tapered and firm for versatility and crease blending. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to have to use other brushes today for sure, but we're going to use every single brush. Next we have the round crease brush and it's looking a little, maybe I just needed to fluff it out a little bit. So maybe I'll use this one first. It's bigger. Then we have the round crease brush. So all of these are crease brushes basically. These brushes seem kind of dense, to be honest. Last up is the brow one that has the angled brow slash spoolie brush. My brow's already done, and this is not dense enough for me for my brow, so I'll probably just use that on my lower lash line today. Okay. When my sister gave these to me, she was like, they're not for use, they're just for decoration. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to use them, and I'm going to film with them. And then I'll wash them, and then I'll set them up all pretty on my little vanity here. So I figured since using some Morphe brushes and we're testing them out, I might as well just use a Morphe palette for the eyes today. So I will most likely be using this entire palette for the eyelid. Eyelids are already primed. We got some of my Bye Bye Under Eye that I used to carve out my brow, and then set it with some Laura Mercier setting powder. I feel like I always end up doing the exact same freaking look all the time. I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna mix this color right here. I don't have the paper with the names on it, but we're gonna and mix a little bit of this yellow shade with that. Already I think I needed a different blender just to get this transition color on. So we're using uh, the Morphe G24 just for my transition. Transition colors are on. You're going to move into one of the Bling It On brushes. Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. So we are going to mix this color and that color. Taking that straight into the crease. This brush is working pretty well, picking up the color very nicely. It seems to be blending it out very nice as well. I'm trying to keep most of the product on the outer corner and the inner corner and then slightly blending through the middle. Yeah, I'm really liking this brush so far. I am going to dip back into our transition colors real quick. We are all blended out, ready for the next 
color. I am dipping into the tapered blender brush. We're gonna go into a darker color. I think I'm gonna end up only using this to pack the color on and then I'm gonna pick up the blender that I was using for these colors and blend it all out. We're gonna dip into this color right here, just packing it on the outer corner and the inner corner. Cause this is like a fat, fatty brush. So let's see what happens. I don't think this is necessarily a packer brush, <laughs> but we're going to make it work. I think some is looking a little patchy, but we're just going to move on. I'm going to use the last little eyebrow brush, which is the round crease brush. And I am dipping into the darkest purple that's in the palette. This color right here, we're packing it on the outer corner and the inner corner and then blending it out. Hoping that this is going to work. I might end up having to use a different smaller packer brush, but we'll see. This is definitely packing on color, but better than the last brush. All right, tutorial is done. <laughs> Just joking. I went ahead and finished my makeup that wasn't using the Morphe brushes, so I didn't think there was really a reason for me to do that on camera. But I will tell you guys what I did and what I used. For the lid color, I used this color right here, I wasn't really feeling it, so then I went into the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette, and this thing is so hard to open. Oh. Okay. And I used this purple shade right here, just put that on top of the shimmer that I used in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And it wasn't, like it looked cute, but I was like, I need just a little bit more. So then I grabbed the Urban Decay Electric palette and I used the silver color right here and just put that right on the center. Wasn't really liking that either. I needed like more glitter, more shimmer. I grabbed my Urban Decay Heavy Metals glitter liner and punk rock and then just put that all over the lid and I'm liking how that's looking now. So that was the eye and then I went ahead and did part of my under eye using the crease colors on my eyelid. Now we're going to jump into the spoolie angle brush and I'm just going to use the dark dark purple shade that we used and get that on the outer outer corner lower lash line. This brush is very precise, so I'm basically just packing the color on. I might have to go in and blend it a little bit. I might end up trying to use this for my eyebrows. I don't know, we'll see. Probably a good one for doing your eyeliner. I don't think it did very much, but we're gonna move on. I'm going to use my Tarte Cosmetics Clay Play Face Palette into the Angled Fluffer angled fluffer brush. I mix these two colors. We're just gonna see how this contours. Gets the color on there pretty well. The brushes are very very soft so I like that a lot. I feel like I almost need more of a dense brush if I want more of an intense contour. Let's just try this on my forehead. The jawline, I bring it all the way down. I really like how it contoured my forehead more so my cheekbones. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I used for my inner corner. I used this color right here. Now we're gonna do some bronzer with the big fluffer brush. And I just got this Bronze and Brighton Cheek Palette from Pure. Well, it actually came in my BoxyCharm box for January. We're just gonna dip into the bronzer. Doesn't look like much came off, but let's just, I'm not going to really do blush, so I'm just going to like put it in my blush area. Didn't seem like much came out on the brush, but definitely. <laughs> just using whatever's left over on the brush to 
bronze up my forehead on top of the contour. We're going to use Miname. This brush that's supposed to be like your contour brush, I'm just going to try it out for the highlight and see how that works. Not wetting the brush just yet. I'm actually liking how it's applying. It's actually doing quite well for a highlighter brush. And I just like to go back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of blend it all together. Here we are! We are finished! Finished off putting some mascara Tarte Lights Camera Lashes on my bottom lashes. I've like been super into gloss recently so we just put some gloss on. I first just put on Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in Literally. I was like, oh shoot, I have like a gloss that's like kind of like a purple color. This is from Clé de Pew Butte. I got it from Influencer. It's a super like purple type lilac color. Just put that on top. Yeah. Finished with this tutorial. I really do like these brushes. I more so like how they look and the color and the bling bling because I'm all about that bling bling. I will definitely use these uh, more unless I just decide to wash them and keep them for cute uh, decoration. I think my favorite brushes from this collection are the angled brush and the little tapered contour brush. I really liked how this applied my highlight, I like how it blended. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> I really liked this brush in particular for my forehead contour, not necessarily my cheekbone contour, but I do like this brush a lot. I do like the eyeshadow brushes, like the blender is a pretty good blender. I'm glad that I have them in my collection now. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the, these brushes. Did you get your hands on the brushes yourselves? Have you used them? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this tutorial on the Bling It On Morphe brush set, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!